So Steve McLaren, Andrew, yes, he's gone and got himself the booty. He has again. booty. <laughs> he has again. He? Who could have seen that coming? Well, you know, on this on this podcast, we pride ourselves <laughs> in seeing this type of nonsense <laughs> coming. So he got the sack, and let's face it, it's got all the hallmarks of a classic mm. British manager destroy yeah, an exit. Destroy hasn't it? an exit. It's perfect, Text- wasn't it? So I managed to find out what happened on the day of the sacking anyway. Mm-hmm. I can't reveal my sources, and I never would. All right. So Steve was in his manager's office with Casper the Snake, who's his assistant manager at the moment, yeah? Officially, yeah. Yeah, he's topless, pacing around like... Oh, Steve or the Snake? Steve. Steve is. Yeah, the um, snake always wears his skin, you know, <laughs> his fur. He's topless, pacing around like, you know, like a fancy American law professor. Mm. That, that's how he looked like, and he's nibbling on... Um, a toffee and marshmallow fun and laughter bar. Yeah. Right, Steve says, Oh, dear Casper. <laughs> oh, dear Casper. What do you think Mr. Fernandez wants? <laughs> I'm in a right toodle pipper ding dong. I feel like I could drop a Todd any minute, you know. Should we just go home and watch Escape to the Country? <laughs> At that moment, Casper drops a lump as well, mm. as if to confirm he's feeling a bit, you know, queasy yeah. as well, like. God, do you think he, what do you think he wants? Do you think he needs some carpet advice? Maybe he's thinking of changing to a patterned weave in his car office. (laughs) Casper shakes his head. No, maybe he wants me to give him a box of fun and laughter bars for his family and friends. (laughs) (laughs) Casper just shakes his head. Oh, oh, I know what he wants. He wants to have a chat about next season's new kit. I sent him a design, you know, based on a cross-section of a date and walnut cake. <laughs> Dark brown, light brown and beige. Yes, yes, I bet that's what he wants to talk about. <laughs> Casper shakes his head. Just as the phone rings, it's Mr Fernandez's secretary, right? And he's ready for Steve. Well, on hearing this, Casper opens up a little a drawer in the desk, revealing a lovely light blue short sleeve comfort fit shirt yeah. and a blue and white hooped tie. Yeah. Nice for QPR, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Um, oh, Casper, you little fountain of yummy sweet bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> it's 100... <laughs> It's 100% rare on with double stitch sleeves. <laughs> These are as rare as left footed pelicans. I can't fail with this resting gently on my tits. <laughs> Casper smiles and they both walk through yeah. into Mr. Fernandez's <laughs> office. So, what you gotta say for yourself, McLaren? <laughs> One win in 50 games. If this continues, we'll never finish in 15th place. And wipe that piece of large leaf coriander. <laughs> and wipe that piece of large leaf coriander off the top of your head. <laughs> no, Tony, you silly Rodley Plonkel. That's not large leaf coriander. That's my head <laughs> island. My head island. Enough. Enough already, you dumb fucker, Billy. Explain yourself. Oh, all right, but would you like a fun and laughter bar, Mr. Fernandez? It's nutty shite in a chocolate cat suit. No, I have some cherry tomatoes already. I must say I'm very impressed with the durability of your carpet, Mr. Fernandez. Just look at the heavy traffic area by the door. (laughs) It's still literally as good as new. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. In a certain light, the pile looks a bit flat and dreary. <laughs> oh, that's a bumbelino. Should I do a quick replump with me wooden comb? No, just leave it. Are you sure, Mr. Fernandez? As <laughs> sure as hell, I'm sure. Now quit stalling and explain why my team can't win a gun a match. Are they shit or are you shit? <laughs> Because I certainly smell shit round these parts. <laughs> Look, Tony, I know things have been, you know, a bit skew whiff in recent weeks, but I've got a new motivational song that should turn things around. Just listen up. In this league, there are 24 teams, but the best one is the QPR. 
We're very proud to have the cleanest kits and a super gorgeous manager. Our shirts are hooped, our shorts are breathable, and our socks feature a seamless toe. The changing rooms are fully carpeted, and the wind bonuses are always nice and low. We are the QPR, we'd like to shake your hand. We are the QPR, 35th best team in the <laughs> land. We always make it look like we are trying. 15th place is what we are supplying. Win, lose or draw, no matter where we are, we tidy up and thank the staff. There's more to life. Than three points on the board We always give the away fans a good laugh We are the QPR Have a fun and laugh the bar We are the QPR We've all got company cars And if you say that we're shites Then you're lying <laughs> If you're selling a dud Then we're buying <laughs> Oh yeah, a do bat whoop a do bat a do bat fun and laughter in the chocolate cuddle. Boop bat do be do bat be do what fun and laughter in the chocolate cuddle. Do bat do be do bat be do bat do bat do be do boop be do bat fun and laughter in a chocolate suit. Go on, Casper, do your dance. We keep touch tight when we mark a man. But let them have the ball, cos that's polite And if we score, we let them get one back Cos at QPR we're really very nice So what do you think, Mr Fernandez? Do you think that will do the trick of doo doo? Sounds like bullshit to me! <laughs> oh, but I suppose it might be worth a try <laughs> Well, at this point, Casper Crawls up the side of Tony's desk, yeah? His neck swells up. Yeah. Sides are watermelon, Andy. Massive. Oh, man. Yeah, and he spews a torrent of half-digested <laughs> fun and laughter bars right into Tony's face, uh -oh. yeah? That's it, you saggy-ass helmet! You are fired! And take that long pig of yours with you! <laughs> yes, Mr Fernandez, of course, Mr Fernandez. Well, back in Steve's office, Steve and Casper laughing their heads off. Huh? Right? Yeah. E Casper, I was so worried. I thought he might not sack us and we'd be stuck here without an exit payout. I think it was you spewing on him that did the trick. <laughs> Casper smiles, yeah? And Steve dials a number on his phone. <laughs> Hi, is that Sam? Sam Allardyce? <laughs> oh, hello, Sam. Oh, I've got some great news. Yeah, yeah, just wait for it. Destroy an exit at QPR, successfully completed. Yes, yeah, see you at British Managers Lunch Club next Thursday. At Rules, yes. Yes. Hey, how's Tony Poulis getting on at Middlesbrough? <laughs> Nearly there, you say? <laughs> Nearly there. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> then puts the phone down. Come on, Casper, let's go to Mrs Fanny's cake box and get a shitload of iced yum-yums. You must be starving. That was quite a load you dumped on that plonka Fernandez. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> hey. So that's Steve's Another chapter complete. How many jobs has he been through now since we've been doing this podcast? Is it like four or something? Four or five, maybe. <laughs> but there you are. I don't know details of his power. Yeah, he knows what he's come. doing, doesn't he? He's no mug. God, they all do, don't they? Oh, don't they they just... all do. 